Today, we are going to solve a problem on E1 elimination and ZHF rule. The problem is, when this ketone is treated with methyl magnesium bromide followed by with H+, we get two products A and B. A is tri-substituted olefin, B is disubstituted exocyclic olefin. About this reaction, four statements has been given. In that, in the first part we have to predict which one will be major and which one will be minor. And the second part deals with the number of signals in the C13 NMR of that compound. In order to solve this, first we should know the Grignard reaction between this ketone and methyl magnesium bromide. In methyl magnesium bromide, the methyl group has negative charge. So it can act as nucleophile, can attack ketone to give this intermediate which during workup takes proton to give this tertiary alcohol. When it is treated with H+, in our case it is phosphoric acid H3PO4, what we get is tertiary carbocation. Just elimination of water molecule, we get tertiary carbocation. Since it is tertiary carbocation, it can undergo E1 elimination to give olefin. And there are two possibilities. The first one, this hydrogen may get eliminated to give tri-substituted olefin. The second option, the hydrogen here, it may fall to give exocyclic olefin. Which one will be major and which one will be minor? In order to predict that, you should know ZSF rule. According to this rule, highly substituted olefin is the major product. So if you compare these two products, this is tri-substituted, but this one it is di-substituted. So the major product should be the tri-substituted product and the di-substituted should be minor. Here, the stability of the product decides the product selectivity. We may know that highly substituted olefins are more stable than less substituted olefin. So, the stability of the product decides the product. Now, this is A and this is B. A is major and B is minor. Now, let us go to the given options. The first one, A is major. So I mentioned this is major because it is highly substituted olefin and that is the itself product. So this is correct. The second one, A is minor. No, this is a wrong. The third one, B is major. B is minor. It is not major. So this statement also is wrong. The fourth one, B is minor. Yes, B is the minor product. The less substituted olefin will be minor product. It is also known as Hoffman product. Now, what about the second part of the 
statement. A is major. Yes. It gives five signals in C13 NMR. What will be the number of signals in C13 NMR for this compound? Let's try to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is no symmetry. Because of that, the number of signals should be eight. But in this statement, they have mentioned five. So this is wrong. What about this one? B is minor. Yes, B is minor. And it, it will give five signals in C13 NMR. The number of signals in that one, two, this and this, they are same. This and this, they are same. So we get five signals. So this is correct. The answer is four.